Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general, and welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on how Adidas lost LeBron to Nike in what was famously called the single dumbest mistake anyone could have made in negotiating for a property. They really dropped the ball on this one. Now, if you'd like more of these videos on how NBA stars signed with the shoe companies they did, leave a thumbs up on this video and comment your feedback down below. And let's get going on today's topic. So the other day, Giannis signed a long-term contract with Nike after being courted by Adidas and Li Ning. And if you saw my video on how the Greek freak can make history in the near future, then you would know that I believe he will be the best player in the world when LeBron retires. This would mean that Nike or Jordan brand, which is a subsidiary of Nike, has the best player in the world wearing their shoes since MJ. This potential reality just increases Nike's popularity and overall brand, as it was reported back in 2014 that 72% of players in the NBA wear shoes from Nike or Jordan brand. That number is probably higher now, although Adidas is starting to step its game up in the basketball footwear industry. And with Adidas mentioned, thus begins how LeBron was on the verge of sporting the three stripes instead of the swoosh for his career. To understand this story, we have to become familiar with Sonny Vaccaro. His career was covered in the ESPN 30 for 30 film Soul Man, which released in 2015. But here are some of the brief details if you didn't see the documentary. Basically, this dude defied the norm of waiting for young basketball players to turn professional until a company would even consider offering them a contract. Vaccaro would connect with high school basketball players through the Dapper Dan Classic, which kicked off in 1965. You could think of this as the McDonald's All-American game before it was called that. He eventually made his way to Nike, where his goal was to land a signature athlete from the 1984 draft class, and while virtually everyone else wasn't thinking about Michael Jordan, Vaccaro was and got MJ to come on board with the swoosh. Then he was let go from Nike in 1991 and went to Adidas. He managed to convince 17 year old Kobe Bryant to sign with the brand, offering him an unprecedented, at the time, $1 million per year deal. He then got T Mac and after that was LeBron. But Carl got close with James's family and became the clear front runner to sign him. LeBron wore Adidas shoes and gear in high school and was promised by Vaccaro a 10 year, $100 million contract for signing with Adidas. Vaccaro went to upper management at Adidas and according to him, they obliged to the terms of the proposed contract. So there it was, the day of the signing. A sales presentation was being made to the James camp and Vaccaro realized that management had altered the terms of the contract. Instead of 10 million a year for 10 years, it was 7 million a year for 10 years with incentives. Vaccaro's promise to James's family, who he had grown close to, was broken. Nike took advantage of Adidas' incompetence and signed James to a $90 million deal for seven years with incentives. Adidas' net worth in 2003 was $4.3 billion and they passed on signing LeBron James to save $30 million. Think $30 million is a lot? Yeah, it is, but compared to how much money LeBron has brought to Nike, including $340 million from March 2014 to 2015, it's laughable that Adidas chose to not pony up the money. Anyway, LeBron signed a lifetime deal with Nike back in December of 2015, worth north of $1 billion. And since he signed with Nike in the spring of 2003, the company's stock has returned over 1,000%. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Tracy McGrady, LeBron James. It's pretty safe to say that Vaccaro had an eye for talent, but unfortunately lost the last of those four and a once in a generation player at that due to a cheap mistake. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think Adidas would have benefited from signing LeBron as much as Nike did? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out.